Hi everyone. The Black Pearl, is a ship in the Pirates of the Caribbean film series. In the screenplay, the Black Pearl is easily recognized by her distinctive black hull and sails. Captained by Captain Jack Sparrow, she is said to be nigh uncatchable. The Black Pearl was built by the French and was originally a merchant ship called Wicked Wench, but its crew later turned to piracy under the command of a pirate captain named Morgan, who was killed during a battle with Spanish Royal Navy Captain Armando Salazar. The helmsman, Jack Sparrow, was granted captaincy of the Wicked Wench after outmaneuvering Salazar and saving the crew during battle. Years later, the Wicked Wench became registered to the East India Trading Company and owned by Cutler Beckett, the eighth director for West Africa. At the time, Jack Sparrow was in the employ of the East India Trading Company and regained captaincy of the Wicked Wench. Jack Sparrow captained the Wicked Wench for Cutler Beckett for about a year, hauling various cargoes, but he refused to haul slaves. Hoping to recruit Sparrow as one of his many operatives, Beckett indulged what he regarded as an odd peccadillo of Sparrow's until he and the captain came to part ways. Beckett had dispatched Sparrow on a mission to find the lost island of Kerma, and the treasure at the heart of its underground labyrinth, but Sparrow double-crossed the eight official and claimed he couldn't locate the island. Suspicious that Sparrow had indeed found the island and the treasure, but had not given him its accurate location, Beckett, determined to browbeat the captain into obedience, demanded that the young captain transport a cargo of slaves to the New World. Initially Sparrow agreed, but when he realized that he was betraying the wicked wench, as well as himself, he rebelled and freed the slaves by taking them to Kerma for safe asylum. Furious that Sparrow had flouted his orders and stolen the cargo of black gold, Beckett had Sparrow thrown into jail. After allowing him to languish for a couple of months, Beckett had Sparrow transported to the Wicked Wench's anchorage, about a mile from the coast of West Africa, near Calibre on the Bight of Benin. After personally branding Sparrow with the P brand, so he'd be forever identifiable as a pirate, Cutler Beckett gave the order to fire incendiary carcass charges at the Wicked Wench, in order to totally demoralize her captain. Sparrow fought his way free from his guards, dove overboard and attempted to rescue his burning, foundering ship, but he was too late. The Wicked Wench turned into an inferno, then sank, taking Jack with her. But, while dying, Sparrow called upon Davy Jones, and struck a bargain with him, his soul and one hundred years service aboard the Flying Dutchman, in return for a continued human existence of thirteen years as captain, plus saving the wicked wench and transforming her into the fastest, most dangerous pirate ship on the seven seas. Jones agreed, and raised the ship from the sea floor, now a charred vessel with an angel figurehead. In keeping with her scorched appearance, Jack painted his ship black and added black sails, rechristening her the Black Pearl. Two years later, the Black Pearl was in search of the mysterious Isla de Muerta with a new crew, where the legendary chest of Cortez was hidden. Captain and crew agreed to equal shares of the treasure, but devious first mate Hector Barbosa persuaded Jack that equal shares included knowing the treasure's location. Jack complied and soon after Barbosa led a mutiny and marooned Jack on an island with nothing but a pistol containing one shot. The crew found the Aztec gold, which was spent very quickly, not believing in the curse placed on it, that anyone who stole the coins would become an undead being, unable to feel anything but unsoothable hunger, and that only moonlight would reveal their true form. This curse being real, the pirates were soon hideous living skeletons with tattered flesh and clothing clinging to their bones. Even the Black Pearl was affected by the curse upon its crew, becoming constantly shrouded in an eerie mist and operating with tattered sails ripped in many places. The curse could only be lifted when all 882 coins were returned to the chest along with a trace of blood from each pirate who stole one. William Bootstrap Bill Turner Sr., the only crew member who defended Jack Sparrow during the mutiny, sent a coin to his young son Will Turner in England, believing the crew deserved to be cursed, and remain cursed. In retaliation, 
Barbosa, strapped a cannon to old bootstraps bootstraps. The last we saw of old Bill Turner. He was sinking to the crushing black oblivion of Davy Jones's locker. Only then did Barbosa's crew learn that they also needed bootstraps blood to break the curse, and by throwing him overboard they had, in fact, doomed themselves to continue damnation. Over the next decade, the Black Pearl menaced the Caribbean as the pirates searched tirelessly for the Aztec gold, until all but one piece was found. As a boy, William Will Turner Jr. brought the gold medallion with him on his journey to the Caribbean, although Elizabeth Swan, Governor Weatherby Swan's daughter, came into possession of it and kept it hidden for eight years. The Pearl later attacked Port Royal and abducted Elizabeth, believing she was Bootstrap's child, their only remaining source of Turner blood when it was really Will. The Pearl was eventually commandeered by Sparrow with a new crew. While most of Barbosa's crew were battling the Royal Navy aboard HMS Dauntless, Barbosa, Monk, Jacoby and, whether be fight Elizabeth, Will, and a now cursed Jack Sparrow were at Isla de after Will and Jack put their blood on their respective pieces and returned them to the chest of Cortez, the Aztec curse was lifted. With the crew no longer immortal, Jack used his single shot, which he had carried for ten years, to kill Barbosa. During the battle, Jack's crew are able to commandeer the Pearl, leaving Jack behind at Isla de Muerta. However, they later rescue him after he escapes execution in Port Royal, and he again takes command of the ship. The Black Pearl was pursued by Commodore James Norrington and the Royal Navy. Off of Tripoli, a large hurricane battered the Pearl and HMS Dauntless sank, along with most of its crew. Norrington survived, and later resigned from the Navy. One year later, the Black Pearl is still being captained by Jack Sparrow, although his crew is not content with him, it's been months since they did a speck of honest pirating and they are upset about the Royal Navy's pursuit and the hurricane. Davy Jones sends bootstrap Bill Turner to remind Jack that he still owes his soul and 100 years of service aboard the Flying Dutchman to Jones, Jack's 13 years of captaincy have now passed. Jack is marked with the black spot, which means that the Kraken is now hunting to drag both Sparrow and his ship down to the locker. Jack has the ship sailed to the nearest land, Pelagosto, an island inhabited by a cannibal tribe. Jack and the surviving crew escape the cannibals with Will Turner, Pintel, and Raggetti, and visit the voodoo priestess Tia Dalma for advice. Dalma details how Davy Jones cut out his own heart and locked it in the hidden dead man's chest. The crew learns that if Jones's heart is stabbed, he will die. So whomever controls Jones's heart can command Jones himself. Dalma then helps the crew of the Pearl track down the Flying Dutchman. When Jack sends Will over to the Dutchman, the Pearl is boarded by Jones's cursed crew. Jack makes a deal with Davy Jones, he will deliver Jones 100 souls in three days in exchange for his own. Jones agrees, temporarily removing the black spot from Jack's palm. Jones and his crew then depart aboard the Dutchman with Will, while the Pearl travels to Tortuga to recruit the remaining 99 souls. In Tortuga, Jack runs into Elizabeth and a drunk, washed-up James Norrington. Owing to her desire to find Will, Elizabeth is able to provide Jack with a heading to the dead man's chest, which is buried on Isla Cruces. With each desiring control of Jones for his own ends, a three-way sword fight ensues between Jack, Norrington and Will, who has escaped from the Dutchman with the help of his father. After Jack manages to obtain the heart of Davy Jones from the chest, which is secretly stolen from him by Norrington, the Black Pearl is attacked by the Flying Dutchman. However, the Pearl is able to outrun the Dutchman owing to a favorable wind. Davy Jones then unleashes the Kraken on the Pearl. Despite successfully fighting the Kraken off twice, the ship still sustains heavy damage and most of her crew are killed. Jack orders the surviving crew to abandon ship. After figuring out that the Kraken is only after Jack and not the Pearl, Elizabeth distracts Jack by kissing him, then chains him to the ship's mast and leaves him behind. 
re-signed to his fate, Jack bravely charges the maw of the Kraken, and the Pearl is dragged down to Davy Jones's locker as the surviving crew watches. Mourning the loss of Sparrow, the crew return to Tia Dalma's shack. There, Dalma asks them if they would sail to the ends of the earth and beyond, to fetch back Witty Jack and him precious Pearl. Gibbs, Pintel, Rigetti, Cotton's Parrot, Elizabeth and will all agree. Tia Dalma then announces their new captain, Hector Barbosa, who asks what's become of his ship. Led by the newly resurrected Captain Barbosa, Tia Dalma and the crew of the Black Pearl vow to rescue Jack Sparrow and his ship from Davy Jones's locker. By means of Chinese navigational charts from the pirate lord of Singapore, Cao Feng, they find themselves in the locker. Jack and the Pearl are stranded in a seemingly endless desert, but Tia Dalma is able to use the locker's mysterious crustaceans, crabs that appear to be rocks, to transport Jack and the Pearl to the nearby shore. Jack deciphers a clue from the navigational charts, and the crew capsize the ship at sunset. The Black Pearl then returns to the living world at sunrise. Back in the realm of the living, the Black Pearl resupplies at an island, but is ambushed by Cao Feng, aboard his vessel Empress, and Jack's old enemy Cutler Beckett, aboard his flagship HMS Endeavor. Disputes mean that the Pearl is now desired by multiple characters. Captain Sparrow's claim is that it is his ship, Captain Barbosa's is that it was his ship, Will needs the Pearl to free his father from Davy Jones, Cao Feng covets the fastest ship in the Caribbean, and Cutler Beckett won't give up the only ship that can outrun the Dutchman. After Elizabeth joins Cao Feng on the Empress, the Pearl and the Empress launch a surprise attack on the Endeavour and flee. In response, Beckett sends the Flying Dutchman to track down the Empress. Cao Feng is mortally wounded in the ensuing attack, and dies after naming Elizabeth his successor as captain. Meanwhile, the Black Pearl escapes to Shipwreck Cove, a secret pirate rendezvous, where the fourth meeting of the Brethren Court is then convened. After Captain Elizabeth Swan arrives, the Pearl becomes the flagship of the Pirate Armada, led by the elected Pirate King, Elizabeth Swan. Captain Sparrow, Captain Barbosa and Captain Swan take a parley with Lord Beckett, Davy Jones, and Will Turner. After Beckett reveals that Jack purposefully used Will's betrayal to try to save himself from Jones's wrath, Captain Swan and Barbosa trade Jack for Will. Jack is then imprisoned in the brig of the Dutchman. Helmed by Captain Barbosa, the Black Pearl then engages in a sea battle around a maelstrom against the Flying Dutchman. The two ships are evenly matched, and both are damaged by the other's cannons and later boarded. On the Dutchman, Jack escapes the brig and engages Davy Jones in a sword fight. Stealing the key to the dead man's chest from Jones, Jack threatens his foe with stabbing Jones's heart. However, Jones fatally stabs a downed Will Turner, and Jack instead helps Will to stab Jones's heart, killing Jones. As both ships near the bottom of the maelstrom, the topmasts become entangled. The Dutchman begins to pull down both ships, so Pintel and Rigetti fire a chain shot at the entangled masts. Jack and Elizabeth escape the Dutchman using a makeshift parasail, and the Pearl escapes the maelstrom while the Dutchman sinks. Once the storm subsides, the Pearl is still afloat but substantially damaged, and no match for the Endeavour which is advancing on it. However, the Dutchman resurfaces with Captain Will Turner in command. The Black Pearl and the Flying Dutchman sail alongside each other and destroy the Endeavour, killing Lord Cutler Beckett and forcing the now leaderless Eight Armada to flee. In Tortuga, Jack again loses the Black Pearl to Barbosa, leaving only him and Gibbs on Tortuga, Gibbs decides to stay and they part ways with Jack saying take what you can and Gibbs replying give nothing back. Though the crew of the Pearl, are unsettled about leaving Captain Jack behind, again, indeed they all leave the Black Pearl and Barbosa recruits a new crew. However, Sparrow has secretly stolen the critical portion of Barbosa's navigational charts, and so goes back to searching for the Pearl and for the Fountain of Youth so he can gain immortality. Thanks for watching.